Sickles of silence, blood stream lines, she held his pain. His heart turned cold, love turned to murder, dark truths untold. Chelsea burned deep within the well. From his lips like a death hey y'all, Jamie here with Country Diggers. Today we're going into the Ballad of Maddie Groves. This is a uh, murder ballad, and I'll be reading from songfacts.com and reading the lyrics or singing the lyrics to the song, Maddie Groves Blues, by the murder ballads. If you want to listen to the song, you can look them up on YouTube. And uh, this is one of the more grittier songs, so stay tuned. Maddie Grows Blues by the Murder Ballads. A holiday, a holiday, you know the first one of the year. Judge Arlen's wife, she went to the church, the gospel for to hear. And when the meeting, it was done, she took a look around. Oh, my soul, that Maddie Groves, he came out walking through the crowd. Come home with me, pretty Maddie, come home with me tonight. Because the sheets are red on my feather bed, and you'll know I'll treat you right. Oh, I can't come home alone with you, though you're a lovely sight. For your diamond ring tells me one thing, that a rich man calls you wife. It's true, I am Judge Arlen's wife, but Arlen, he ain't home. He goes down to the river town and won't mind where I roam. Little Maddie Groves, he lay him down and he took a little sleep. But when he woke, the man of the house was standing at his feet, saying, how do you like my bed, boy? And how do you like them sheets? And how do you find that wife of mine who lies right there asleep? Now it's a fine old feather bed, and these sure are fancy sheets. But oh my eyes, she takes the prize, though sh sure she'll cost me steep. Get up, get dressed, Judge Arlen cried. Get on your feet and stand. For when you're dead, it won't be said that I killed a naked man. No, I can't get up. I won't get up. I can't get up for my life. For by my word, you've got two swords and I've just got this pocket knife. Well, these swords are long and oh so sharp, and they cost me deep in the purse. So you take one, you fancy son, and leave me with the worst. And you'll strike out the first blow, and you strike it like a man. Cause the second blow is mine to throw, and I'll kill you where you stand. Then Maddie struck like lightning, cut Arlen straight to the ground. But the judge's sword had the final word, and little Maddie, he stayed down. Then old Judge Arlen took his wife and sat her on his knee, saying, raise your eyes and choose your prize, that dead man there or me. Well, she gave back a cold, clear smile and spoke her mind out free. I'll take a kiss from dead Maddie's lips before you lay another hand on me. And then Judge Arlen, he jumped up and loudly did he bawl. And with Maddie's knife, he took his wife and he pinned her to the wall. Old Darlin, he washed up his hands and rode on back to town while the servants dug in the river's mud and they laid those lovers down. Now we could end this story here and some would call it right. 
but rivers flood and that thick black mud well it don't hold secrets tight and the law don't favor lovers it don't care for jealousy and the killing stain don't heed no fame when a guilty man walks free house and lands can't hush it when your secrets find the light and your wealthy kin disown your sin that rope so taunt just can't be bought so arlen paid for his hasty blade more dear than he ever thought all right that was the murder ballads and uh it was released november 18 2014 this is the murder ballads blues by the um murder ballads and it was written by cat kingsgrave based on the maddie groves traditional song all right now on to the story Maddie Groves is an English folk ballad. According to a re report in the London Times of March 2nd, 1945, this song was specifically written by the composer Benjamin Britten and dedicated to the musicians of the German POW camp O Flag VIIB the previous year. This is not quite correct. However, Matty Groves is also known as Little Musgrave and Lady Bernard, dating to at least the 17th century. It is a well-known murder ballad, and you can find it in the Francis James Child uh, ballad number 81, written in written into the time. Britain's version was published by Boozy and Hawks Music of London in 1943 as the Ballad of Little Musgrave and Lady Bernard, with the dedication for Richard Wood and the musicians of O Flag V11B. As many as with many folk songs, the numbers of the characters vary. But basically, Lady Bernard, the wife of Lord Arlen, Lord Arlen or Lord Donald, it, it varies with every one of them, whether, what the names are, entices her servant into her marital bed. Unfortunately, she is betrayed by another servant. In some versions, the servant is promised a fine reward if he is telling the truth and death if he is lying. The nobleman hurries home and catches the lady of the manor in, uh, you know, in bed with this other guy. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, he calls on her lover to get out of bed and face him. But Little Musgrave declines. Rather sportingly, Lord Arlen takes out two swords and offers the servant the better one and the chance to strike him first. Pa uh, painted into a corner, Musgrave has little choice but to accept the offer. Strikes Lord Arlen first, but is killed in return. Then Lord Arlen sits his wife on his knee and asks her which of them she now pre prefers. She responds that she would rather kiss the dead lips of her lover, at which point he stabs her through the heart and orders them to be buried together with her on top because she is of noble kin. This song has, of course, been widely recorded, including by Joan Baez as Maddie Groves. This is the last and longest track on her 1962 live album running to seven minutes and 44 seconds. It features just Baez and her acoustic guitar. Fairport, Fairport Convention recorded an electrified version of this traditional folk song on Legion Leaf. Uh, the album titled is composed, 
The album title is composed of two Middle English words, liege meaning loyal and leaf meaning ready. The LP has come to be regarded as a major influence in the development of British folk rock. And in 2006, BBC Radio, two listeners voted Liege and Leif the most important folk album of all time. Fairport Convention guitarist Richard Thompson reflected on its influence. In an interview with Mojo Magazine, March 2011, what surprises me is how influential it was in other countries. Folk musicians in places like Sweden, Spain, and Holland heard Liege and Leif and thought, this is what we need to do with our culture. And it spawned all these folk rock bands playing their own traditions. We were hoping it would get in the charts and the music would be accepted alongside the American influence stuff but that didn't happen and it became a cult. It remains a cult to this day. But there is an, uh, an allusion to this song in Beaumont and Fletcher's 1613 play, The Night of the Burning Pestle. Night spelled K-N-I-G-H-T. And uh, that's really all I could find about it. Um, there, there were plenty of um, singers and bands that recorded the song, and like the murder ballads, they um, that was their own song right there. The uh, the um, they wrote it, and uh, but that was all I could find about the actual history of uh, Maddie Groves. But, um, hope you enjoyed. Bye.